in this class we are going to discuss about the poisons ratio so as the word itself says that it is the ratio it is the ratio of lateral strain by longitudinal strain so if you consider a, a metal wire a metal wire is having some length l and it is having a radius r so after application of some force on this so it became like this now it, uh, it this is the radius and this is the length so if you observe this the length have been increased so the change in length or the length will be l plus del l and coming to this radius radius is r minus del r as the radius decreased so uh, we can say that poisson's ratio sigma so poisson's ratio sigma is equal to lateral strain by longitudinal strain so this is the longitudinal strain as the length wise it is increasing length wise that is the longitudinal strain and lateral strain is uh, the radius keep on decreasing so that is a lateral strain lateral strain is as it is decreasing minus minus del r by r and longitudinal strain is del l by l so as uh, and this is uh, poisson's ratio and this poisson's ratio have no units as this is the ratio of two strains uh, it have no units poisson's ratio is having no units and next uh, the value of this poisson's ratio uh, is from 0 to 0.5 and now if you consider here poisson's ratio for constant volume see as we are saying that volume is constant change in volume del, del v equal to 0 that means change in volume is constant and see uh, if you consider this wire this wire is having a area of cross section previously it is having some area of cross section after application of the tensile force it is having a area of cross section and we know that volume is nothing but area into length so the change in area into length is constant and we know that area of the wire a equal to pi r square so this can be written as del pi r square l is constant a del of that means del of pi r square is constant that means del of pi r square l is equal to 0 now here let us write like this first let us uh, consider that pi changes that means r square l is constant into del pi plus now let us consider l is constant that means uh, pi r square del l del l l changes plus now you consider that uh, r changes so pi l del r del r or del r square del r square is equal to 0 see we know that pi is a constant value and it is having a value 3.14 so as it is constant r square l so change in pi is nothing but 0 as it is a constant value plus pi r square of del l plus pi l see here del r square the derivative of this is 2r 
del r so that equal to zero so as we are multiplying with zero this whole term will become zero so now we are having pi r square del l is equal to minus of pi l to r del l as we are bringing this other side of equal to this will become minus so pi and pi we can take it out and here we have see here del l by l del l by l equal to we can write it as 2r del l by r square here r and uh, r square one r is cancelled so del l by l equal to we will have 2 del r by r as uh, this is minus this is minus and this is also minus see here del l by l is nothing but minus 2 mm, del r by r see here uh, the poisson's ratio sigma is equal to minus del r by r by del l by l so now let us consider this so minus del r by r will remain like that only instead of del l by l we can write this that is minus 2 del r by r see here del r by r and this is del r by r if you cancel these two so we have 1 by 2 can cancel this uh, minus and minus also if we cancel this minus and minus we have 1 by 2 1 by 2 or this is uh, nothing but 0.5 that means poisson's ratio for constant value is uh, sigma is equal to 0.5 that is 1 by 2 and uh, this uh, sigma value uh, can extend from 0 to 0.5 here are some materials having the poisson's ratio values of rubber gold saturated clay magnesium titanium copper aluminium alloy and clay